Hey there. So I have a quick question for you. Have you felt like you're just not being heard? Like for some reason, you express your feelings, you tell people what's going on, you tell people what time it is, you tell people how you feel. And for some reason, they either just don't listen or they don't care because they don't honor your feelings. Or do you ever have it where you're trying to find the right words um, to make sure that people get you and that you, so that you can really talk about your innermost feelings, or your innermost thoughts, but it just seems to escape you. Or do people tell you from time to time, mm, that's kind of crazy. Like, I, I don't think that you're right. Or do they think that you're being fake when you're not? Any of these things happen to you? Because sometimes they happen to me. And when they do, can I just share with you, that is an issue with the throat chakra. That is what we're talking about today. <coughs> Excuse me, day 12 of Manifest Your Best Life in 88 Days. We're going to talk about throat chakra healing. My name is Dr. Lisa Brewer, and I am the CEO of Heart of Inspiration, the founder of Lightworker Academy. And I am here to help you prosper in your purpose. So. Day 12, the number 12, by the way, completely just an aside, is kind of the number of governance, right? It's it's the number of, it's three times four. So it's really kind of setting up your four or kind of your life path in this three trinity so that it all kind of comes together and then can shape your life. And so it's pretty appropriate that we're talking about the throat chakra on the day of governance. All right. So what is the throat chakra? It is literally right here. It's the energy center here. It is your fifth chakra and it is the gateway to expression. It is the gateway to communication. It is the gateway to authenticity. It is also a lot of times people don't realize it really does have a lot to do with our thoughts um, our mindset, our words, our actions, all of these things um, are a result of our thoughts and our beliefs, but also you can change your thoughts and change your beliefs by the words that you speak. You can change your world by the words that you speak. So when we have sayings like children should be seen and not heard, that's already telling us as children or the children that we're speaking to that our thoughts, our speech, um, our expression doesn't matter, that it doesn't matter. And when you stop someone from expressing themselves, you literally stop them from, from being themselves because being is an expression of what is. So when we stop that from happening, we literally stop one from growing. We stop one from maturing. We stop one from the communication. We stop one from being able to create their lives. We stop them from learning how to be the co-creator of their world. Let's try not to do that. But if that was done with, listen, that was said to me all the time. My father used to say all the time, children should be seen and not heard. And I know in the moment it was usually if we were all kind of making too much noise and being rather rambunctious and all of that. But there was other times that it was stated, you know, where I may have had an opinion and I'm not saying children should be disrespectful at all. I'm just saying that we need to listen. We need to allow them to learn to express because when your throat chakra is blocked, then you can go through life in a fashion where no matter what you say, no matter how you say it, you don't, you never feel like it's enough. You never feel like people get you and you end up with this kind of chip on your shoulder of nobody ever gets it. Nobody ever gets me. Everybody's against me. It doesn't make me make any difference. And it does. Also, when you don't learn how to express yourself and how you truly feel about things and what you truly think about things, then you begin to speak things into existence or you manifest things that other people want, that is other people's purpose, that's other people's desire for you and not your true desire for yourself. And then you end up not happy. 
a very unhappy, very, very, very unhappy individual because you're continuing to do things that are inauthentic to who you truly are. So that's why we're talking about this today. So what is governing you? What, what, what thoughts, what words, what expressions are you really you? Do you really know who you are? Do you feel like sometimes nobody gets it? If that's the case, can you leave me a comment down there and let me know underneath this video, leave me a comment. Do, do you feel like nobody gets you? Do you feel like nobody understands you? If you've grown to the point and you've done a lot of the healing and, and unblocked your throat chakra, I want you to start to also leave a comment about what the difference it made in your life. Okay. What difference did it make in your life? How are how has your life changed since you started expressing yourself? Now the throat chakra, the element of it is space. And we haven't talked a lot about this with the other chakras, but this is very important because this, the throat chakra governs the Akasha. You guys heard of Akashic records, right? That's the record of everything that's ever happened in your past life slash lifetimes. Um, it's recorded in where in your brain, right? It's recorded there. That's the belief system. And there's, listen, there's other places like the book of life in, in the Bible is taught, is spoken of in this way too. But the throat chakra holds space. When we talk about holding, I'm going to hold space for you. We are literally moving things out of the way so that the potential for creation and expansion is realized. Literally, life and death is in the power of the tongue, what you speak. So you, when you speak things over yourself, your life, your children, your grandchildren, your job, your business, your lover, your everything, this is what happens. And when you what you speak is literally what you believe and it it's cyclical so what says what you say here actually when your own ears hear you speak some words it begins to program your brain to say well this must be true cuz it's coming from me so if if you've had a situation where your parents or whomever have big, have told you all your life you're never going to be anything more than what everybody else in the neighborhood is. You're never going to be, be you must think you're better than me. You must think you're better than all of us. You know, when you hear stuff like that, and then what do you say back? Well, no, mama, no, daddy, I don't think I'm better than you guys. And you might think, well, you're programming yourself. Mm -mm. You know what you're programming yourself to, to, to then do? You're then programming yourself to, I'm not better than any of them. I need to make sure that they don't feel like I'm better than any of them. I need to make sure that I minimize myself, my needs, my wants, and my desires, because clearly they are not more important than them, than theirs. Now, listen to me. I'm not saying that narcissistically they should be, but what I am saying is you do need to set the boundaries that you do put yourself first. If you don't take care of your own self first. You can't take care of anybody else. So what I want you to do is really practice this healing of this throat chakra. If you're feeling that this is resonating with you, I want you to say, yep, this is me. And as we're going through these 88 days, and there's going to be some other um, information on this channel, on this page, I want you to go through and seek out healing frequencies, and other methods for healing your throat chakra. We definitely want to hear what you have to say. I want to hear you, right? I want to hear everything. I want to know everything. Like I believe in you and I want you to feel free to express yourself with authenticity so that you can create the world that you so desire. Okay. And that you came here to live. It's a critical part of manifestation. All right, that's day 12. Go off and heal that throat chakra. Blues, right? Helps wear some blues, keep some blues around. Listen to some very soothing music. Practice going on and saying, you know, go on and, and say all of your mantras. Speak life over yourself. All right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share all the good, great, great, awesome things. Give me a follow. And never forget. Give permission to your purpose to provide for your person. I'll see you soon. Bye.